नमस्कार एंड वेलकम टू सरी आई क्यू आई एम योर फ्रेंड राहुल सायगांवकर द एजेंडा फॉर टूडेज डिस्कशन इज वाइल्ड फायर इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री वी हैव रिसीव सो मेनी न्यूज रिपोर्ट ऑफ वाइल्ड फायर अक्रॉस द वर्ल्ड दे हैव बिकम क्वाइट एक्सटेंसिव द मोस्ट प्रोमिनेंट एग्जाम्पल बींग वाइल्ड फायर इन नदर्न कैनेडा एंड वेरी रिसेंटली वाइल्ड फायर हिट हवाई इन यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स ऑफ अमेरिका दे हैव बीन क्वाइट डेवस्टेटिंग द रिसेंट रिपोर्ट्स हैव हाईलाइटेड द डेथ टोल हैज क्रॉस्ड हंड्रेड इन फैक्ट the latest report highlights the number is close to 110 that means 110 lives have been lost because of wildfires in maui in united states of america in this video lecture we'll understand all the details connected to wildfires what is the meaning of wildfires are wildfires abnormal do they have any sort of utility and why wildfires have become quite extensive in recent times 2023 has been a record year in terms of temperatures and in terms of number of wildfires as well so we'll understand the reason behind rise in wildfires at the end of the discussion we'll also talk about the situation in india and how we need to be prepared for that that would be the complete agenda of this particular discussion to get to know all that information stay with me till the very end all right let's begin our interaction but before that there is a notice for all the upsc civil services aspirants The August batch, the evening batch for P2I Prelims to Interview Initiative, is beginning from 23rd August. I hope that you have already taken the benefit of Independence Day sale because that train is already gone. There were heavy discounts during the Independence Day sale, but even now, if you have missed out on that, you can enroll for this particular program, which is starting from 23rd August. P2I. It is available in three formats: English, Hindi, and in a bilingual format, English. That means the content and the delivery would be in these formats. And this is the most comprehensive program where we will be with you through prelims, through mains, and for the interview as well. All right. To get maximum discount, do not forget to use my code Rahul Live whenever you check out from the app or from the website www. tariq. com. All right. All right. Let's begin our interaction for today. we are discussing about wildfires and i told you 2023 has been a peculiar year since january we have seen so many wildfires across the world most prominent one being the wildfires in canada in the northwestern territories of canada if you look at if you look at any analysis by so many satellites they have shown even till today wildfires have been quite extensive in canada this was one of the tweets by antonio guterres the un chief who said that at the headquarters in new york this was the situation this was june 2023 in fact i've seen so many reels so many videos these days because of social media you see people trying for some sort of daredevil activities i saw some of the videos where people were driving through these wildfires driving through the smoke etc such videos were quite prevalent it's not just canada i told you that the wildfires have hit united states of america as well the in hawaii maui has been devastated more than 110 lives have been lost because of wildfires this year in united states of america it's not just us or canada if we look at 2023's map for wildfires during june 2023 this is the data for june month and you can see wildfires at so many places wildfires across united states of america in canada in the northwest territory of canada you can see wildfires in southern american region many wildfires in african region many wildfires even in european and the middle eastern region in european zone we have seen quite extensive wildfires in greece even in uk if i'm not wrong i think uh, in in uh, in some parts of uk there were wildfires india is also no exception there have been many wildfires in indian forests as well in the northern territory of australia wildfires have been quite extensive in 2023 now the question is why do they occur what what is the reason behind these wildfires and is it normal or is it abnormal to see so many wildfires first of all i would say the number of wildfires is abnormal the reason behind that we will see but what is the meaning of wildfire by the name itself it suggests it is fire which is wild that means it is uncontrollable or it is some sort of uncontrolled fire or burning in wild vegetation all right so wild wildfires they can first of all burn any forest you can see this is a picture you must have seen in so many movies especially in animated animated movies they show wildfires in a in a very very 
vivid way. They can burn forests, they can burn grasslands, they can burn any kind of ecosystem. In fact, wildfires have been quite prominent in grasslands and savannas. Please remember, they are not limited only to a single continent. This map shows you, you can simply search for fire or wildfires in 2023. You will get satellite based data month by month. I am showing this the latest June 2023 data. The July data would come very soon as well. But you will see no continent is spared. It spans across continents throughout the world. It burns any kind of vegetation, be it forest, grassland, anything. All right. So wildfire is uncontrolled fire that burns the vegetation. The next question, what are the reasons behind this? The question is, does anyone go and light a matchstick there in fire, in, in the forest or in the wild? See, wildfires can be because of natural reasons or it can be because of anthropogenic reasons. Please remember this. Wildfire can be because of natural reasons. For instance, because of lightning, it may be because of volcanic activity, it may be because of wind and friction, wind and friction where because of wind, say uh, two stones, they collide or some sort of spark is ignited and there might be fire. It can also be because of coal seam fires. So the reason can be natural. But in recent times, we have seen wildfires and their causes have been mostly anthropogenic. That means because of us, because of humans, because of human based activities. For instance, you have gone for a trip, you have gone to a forest, gone to a national park where you want to see say tiger. You go there, you light a matchstick and you throw that matchstick which was still on fire. A wildfire begins, you don't even know. You probably someone has smoked a cigarette and they threw a cigarette bud which, which still had fire. A wildfire start because see forest or wild vegetation, it has so much of fuel in it. If there are dry leaves, they will immediately catch the fire. It can be some sort of a camping site. A group has gone, a friend's group has gone to a forest where you are camping. Now you have put your campfire and you left it unattended. Because of wind, because of other factors, it spread into wildfire. So anthropogenic reasons are more and more these days. Apart from that, it can be intentional fire. We do know that in many areas of the world, even in India, forests are cleared for some other purposes, say agriculture. And if it is uncontrolled, the wildfire will go on. You know about the jhum cultivation or slash and burn cultivation. One of the ideas is to simply burn the forest and clear it off for agriculture. That means anthropogenic activities are leading to more wildfires. Apart from that, I have written something called as climate change. We'll understand this more and more. Because of anthropogenic activities, the average temperature of earth is increasing because of which wildfires have become more extensive in recent times. All right. So wildfires can be because of natural reasons as well as anthropogenic reasons. But lately, I would say in, in last few decades or in, in last century, I can use the term, almost 75% of wildfires, they are because of anthropogenic activities. This means, my common sense tells me that more and more wildfires are coming up in recent times because of human-based activities, because of human intervention. Now the question is, what are the types of wildfire do I find? See, there are three types of wildfires in which we broadly classify in the fire ecology. Wildfire can be ground-based. Now, ground-based is easier to control. Ground-based mostly on the on the PT or the or the marshy surface where you have some sort of fuel, it continuously burns, or say a, a, a coal bed or some sort of methane bed. If you have it slowly and steadily burns. Ground-based wildfire. Or it can be surface wildfire as well. Surface wildfires is very common. You must have seen this again because of anthropogenic activities, surface wildlife. So at the surface level, there is fire. And there is one more called as crown wildfire. Now, crown wildfire is the toughest to control. Again, both these surface as well as crown, they can spread very quickly. They can actually be wild. And that wild term is not misnomer because these, these fires are very tough to control, especially the crown, crown wildfire. That means which catches, which catches the top canopy. Why? Because wildfire, once, it's, once it begins, it depends on three factors. It depends first on fuel. Of course, environment has oxygen in it. So oxygen availability is plenty. Fuel means 
you need to have dry leaves, dry vegetation or some sort of biomass which can catch fire quickly and which can burn. And forests are plenty with this fuel. So, forest ha already has fuel. It also depends on weather. If it is hot and if it is extremely dry climate, then it's very easy in the vegetation to catch fire and it can become wildfire very quickly. Apart from that, it also depends on the land topography. Now, why I told you that crown wildfire is very tough to handle or very tough to control. Imagine, imagine that there is, there is a small hill or there is a small mountain and it has a lot of forest. It has a lot of forest and the forest fire starts here and the wind is in this direction. Let me just go there again. The wind is in this direction. Now, you do understand because of wind, if the fire, if the fire is caught here, then upstream or uphill the fire will move very very fast why one is because of wind and the second one is because of preheating of the fuel already and to control this it becomes very very tough that's why you see whenever there is wildfire there is a lot of effort needed to control that wildfire why we are not able to still stop wildfires in canada which has been going on for months People are still struggling, the firefighters are still struggling to get that in control because there is plenty of fuel, the weather conditions are satisfied. Again, if it rains naturally, it's well and good. Land topography also it becomes very tough for us to control these wildfires. All right? So, this is about basic knowledge about wildfires. Now, the next question is, sir, you told me that wildfires can be natural or can be anthropogenic. So, if they are natural, do they have any sort of utility? Of course, they have utility in any ecosystem or I would say in biosphere, there is a natural fire cycle and in many ecosystems, especially I can give example of grassland. In grasslands, the fire, it is one of the controlling factors. There is a fire cycle. That means uh, an ecosystem burns because of natural fires and then it again regenerates and it has a lot of utility. Now you are thinking that this does not make sense. It depends on the concept of vulnerability. See, if humans are there in this particular ecosystem, then the hazard would be more and more because people are vulnerable there. But in a natural ecosystem, it's just forest, it's just wild animals, it's soil, it's, it's basically the forest, right? So, it burns and it again regenerates. The wildlife is also accustomed or adapted to it. As soon as the wildfire starts, the, the organisms the plant, the animals, plants cannot move, the animals, etc. They try to take safe shelter and once the wildfire goes off, then the ecosystem again regenerates. It provides so many services. One of the important service is habitat based services. Now, you do understand if there is a forest or if there is a grassland, all the nutrients are with this grass and trees. So, if there is a natural fire, what will happen? This entire thing will burn. And all these nutrients, they go into the soil. That means there is recycling of these nutrients. And I told you that many plants and many animals, they are already adapted to regular burns. Whenever there is overgrowth of plants, the natural, natural wildfire will burn it off and then the ecosystem will again regenerate or the forest or the, or the green greenery will again regenerate. In low severity fires, where it is a natural phenomenon, it will first of all help in thinning the canopy. It will allow, if there is a crown fire, that crown would be gone. Now, the sunlight would be reaching to the ground surface. It will create an open space for more and more growth. It will give you more light. Its productivity will increase. In fact, some of the species are adapted to it, especially some plant species like jack pine, etc. They have evolved themselves to depend on fires for their reproduction. See, there are jack pine seeds and these jack pine seeds, they wait for wildfire. Once there is wild wildfire, then because of the heat, the outer coating would go off and then the seed germinates. Then the new plant will emerge. So, it provides habitat services. It provides services to kill diseases. If there is some disease, if there are some pests, etc., fire will end that. Everything will burn off and would eventually enter the soil. That means the soil will become, again, more fertile. Apart from that, please remember, fires, they also prevent fire. Now, you must be thinking, sir, how is this possible? See, if there is a natural fire and if there is natural low severity fire or I would say cool fire, then that is going to help 
burn whatever fuel is there or whatever biomass is there, especially dry biomass which is left out, it would be burnt off so that next bigger wildfire does not occur. So, these are the services which wildfires provide. So, first thing that you need to understand is wildfires are not an abnormal scenario in any ecosystem or especially in ecosystem which are which are dependent on fire, fire is good for them. But, but, but because of the anthropogenic effect, what is happening? We are looking at unnatural fires and that is what happened in Maui. Although we still do not know what is the cause of the fire, investigation is still going on. As I told you, Hawaii and many islands there, one of the locations is Maui. Now, Maui is no stranger to wildfires because wildfires occur there, especially during the season, especially during the summer season, the hot and dry season, it occurs. But this time, it was quite extensive, it was quite devastating. Many buildings have gone, people have lost their life, loss of property, loss of life. And there were some factors which have, which have been given as an explanation why in Maui, the wildfires were quite extensive this time. Again, anthropogenic factors. First, biggest anthropogenic factor is change in the land pattern used in Hawaii. In fact, there were so many conspiracy theories as well. Now, one of the conspiracy theories was very interesting, uh, which had the name of Opera Winfrey in, in it. Okay, So, apparently Opera Winfrey had bought thousands of acres of land in uh, Hawaii and Maui in many other islands. So, one of the reasons was to uh, for, for land availability. Again, it was a conspiracy theory. There was one more conspiracy theory which, uh, which cited Elon Musk, SpaceX. Right? It was said some laser based weapon was fired so that fire is induced. Right? Again, all these are conspiracy theories. <laughs> there are no evidences of this. But human based factors have led to more and more wildfires. Apart from that, it was a culmination of many other factors. Yes, anthropogenic factors, whatever started the fire, although initial investigations have highlighted it may be because of breaking of electrical wires, etc. But whenever the news comes, we'll talk about that. But what other reasons, some other weather based factors were also there. Low humidity and dry vegetation, it provided a very good ground for those wildfires. Apart from that, fires also were bolstered by strong winds because of the hurricane Dora. Hurricane Dora and its winds, they helped in these wildfires. Now, it's not just in Maui. Maui is the recent example and I told you there have been so many wildfires which have become uncontrollable these days. I can give you an example of Canada, Greece, even in Kazakhstan. In Kazakhstan, in India, there are many incidences. Northern Australia, there are so many incidences and one of the explanation for that has been climate change. Climate change has a huge link to this and one of the explanation is this. See, ecosystems are already adapted to wildfires, yes, but because of climate change, because of climate change, they are not able to regenerate back. They are not able to rejuvenate back itself. And it is leading to devastation, which is quite permanent. That means the entire wildlife, the entire vegetation, entire forest is being wiped off. Apart from this, if, say, simple explanation for problems connected with wildfires, I told you, naturally, there are wildfires. Say, every year, imagine, there is X number of wildfires across the world, which is quite acceptable because many ecosystems are adjusted to it. But because of climate change, what is happening, the severity of these wildfires is increasing. And I would say the number is also increasing. And if the number increases, you do understand there would be more and more devastation and more harmful effect. One of the biggest issues with extensive wildfires is the air quality. Now, because of burning of this vegetation, because of burning of forests, wild vegetation, what is happening? The amount of greenhouse gases, it is continuously increasing. Now, in general, at the global level, forest fires contribute to about 1.76 petagrams. Now, this should be 10 to the power of 15, right? It should be superscripted. 10 to the power of 15 grams, 1.76 into 10 to the power of 15 grams of carbon is contributed because of wildfires, which is about 5%. And this is ever increasing. Extensive wildfires can also impact drinking water, drinking water facilities which are available. Wildfires, they alter the surface soil, they decrease the infiltration underground and they, during, during the rainstorms, they also accelerate the movement of water and because of large amount of debris, it creates other problems as well. It also leads to 
change in characteristics of soil apart from that it has an effect on property we have seen that in maui so many houses destroyed so many cars destroyed people have lost life more than 110 lives have been lost to wildfire apart from that it also has effect on logistics see people who fight wildfires they have a huge challenge in front of them once there is wildfire it leads to disruption of communication it leads to problems with water supply power supply etc everything so all these problems are compounded more and more and it's not just in canada or in united states of america please remember that in india we have seen so many incidences of wildfires or forest fires and the number is ever increasing you can see here rapidly warming world is creating problems for india's forests as well if you look at some of the data in recent times the frequency of forest fire incidences in india has increased by 52 percent since the year 2000 that means with the beginning of the century the wildfires the forest fires have also increased this year this year i told you 2023 has been the year of wildfires and in india we have seen wildfires at some new places weird places right for instance there was there was wildfire in wet forests of goa there was wildfires in karnataka in odisha uttarakhand we have seen again uttarakhand is a place where we see where we see forest fires wildfires in some areas but in some newer areas we have seen if you look at some of the other numbers especially the, the two decade number or uh, pardon me especially uh, last few year numbers we'll see that the number of forest fires from 2021 to 2022 just in six seven months there have been incidences of 2,23,333 wildfires in India and the highest number of wildfires have been seen in state of Madhya Pradesh, Chhattisgarh, Maharashtra, the top three states. And please remember these wildfires, these forest fires are going to increase more and more, more and more. Why? Because this year we are looking at the prediction of El Nino and whenever there is El Nino, we will see more drier conditions in India and it would be prone to more wildfires. So what is the conclusion out of this? We ought to be ready for management of these. We have to be ready with controlling these wildfires in India. So the last part is a small assignment for you. All right. Now, let me know how would you prepare for these wildfire or forest fire cases. See, I am using the term interchangeably, wildfire or forest fire. You can use them interchangeably. So, how would you be ready for it? Say, imagine, I will give you a case study. Imagine you are with the, with the Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change or imagine that you are a forest officer. How would you prepare yourself? How would you brace yourself for the wildfires in your area? What are the steps that you would be taking? All right, please let me know in the comment section because India has to be prepared for that. And that last part is something that I have left it to you as an assignment. I can give you some examples. See, what, what, what do we do with respect to wildfire management? See, one of the example can be create a, create a breaking line or a breaking wildfire, meaning you simply burn a line, you intentionally burn one particular line so that there is no connection between fire on that side and it, it, there would be no access of fuel or biomass on the other side. So you create some break lines. There is another idea of creating a counter fire, right? Counter fire is also used in, in terms of wildlife, uh, ma wildfire management principles. If there is a fire, you intentionally lit or intentionally light another counter fire. That is one of the ideas. So let me know how would, how would you be preparing for these things in the comment section. I have given you some pointers to begin, all right? Now with this note, uh, let's end our discussion. If there are any, if there are any inputs or any news on these, we will discuss them again on Study IQ. Thank you for watching this video. And if you like this video, you can always follow me on this particular ID at the rate Rahul Sai two two two. If you have any queries, any doubts, if you want to connect with me, any feedback, suggestion, you can always reach out to me on IG. I do respond on weekends. Thank you again. Jai Hind.